And we are underway in Buffalo. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Off the play fake. He'll buy some time right. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. In motion left is Davis. That is incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. A gain of four, not enough, and it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. They do go for it. Here's Allen. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Allen looks to throw on second down. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal. From the left hash, this from 46. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. On first down, Allen being chased out left. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, they had that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area, and it winds up incomplete. On play action, Allen. 
Rolling to his right. Going deep for Diggs. And he's got it inside the 10. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 45 yards. And the Bills are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And yeah, they were in field goal range the last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Throwing on first down is Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. Touchdown, Bills! Trent Sherfield, 44 yards! And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. On play action, Allen sliding out of the pocket. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Play action. Now it's Allen. They'll roll him out and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. From the gun, it's Allen. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. They'll run for it. Cook. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Oh, on the defensive side, that is so deflating. Not only is it deflating, they've got to look in each other's eyes on that side of the ball and take each other's measure. You've got them backed up, perfect situation. And what they said to you on the other side is, we don't think you can stop us. Went ahead and got it in that position. That should never happen. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. They run it again with Cook. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. Here's Allen to throw it. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. 
And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Escaping the pressure right. The ball comes out. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. He tried to buy some time to the right. So, Charles, when a guy gets out of the pocket, what's the focus of the quarterback? Most of them keep their eyes downfield. They want to try and make the play throwing the ball. And some of them, they want to tuck it and go. But when they scramble, in this case, as you said, to the right, you're cutting the field in half. So good defenses kind of can converge in that spot, and they don't give you much territory to throw the ball. He had nowhere to go with it. Ends up getting the ball stripped. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now a second and 10. Allen. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 36. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Here's Allen. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 19. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll get this down only to the 18. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen eluding the pressure right. Finding Knox there, complete. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Four catches now on this drive alone. They can't stop him. It's another first down. Now is Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bills have taken the lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs, short-lived, as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. To throw, it's Allen. Going deep for Diggs. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. I can hear you. Stephon Diggs. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bills are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away.
The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster, and you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the post game. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. He's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Here's second and ten. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen going deep for Diggs. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight. So they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Allen will try again on second down. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Here's Allen on first and 10. Flush to his right. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Second and 10. Now Allen. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Allen now on first down. He'll buy some time right. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. A give to Cook out of the gun. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. And they'll come up second and seven. To the air, Allen. And this is Cook with the ground. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Allen on third. And that is caught. It's Davis. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. you got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Reggie Gilliam. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are an extra point away from evening this one up. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And we are tied at 21. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Cook up the gut. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go with Murray again. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Handoff comes to Cook. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Gregory Russo able to bring him down. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Diggs going in motion right. That was second down run for Murray. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Murray. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. And Edwards will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So now an important conversion attempt here as the Bills line up to go for two. Allen will try to throw for it. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Allen going to throw. Rolling to his right. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use momentum to launch another one. Touchdown! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Now Allen. Sliding out of the pocket. And it's caught. And with it, we are tied here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. This is first and ten. Here's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. 
And he wisely will throw that one away. I see you nodding your head up and down. That's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. Allen. Flushed out right. Uncorks one for Davis. And he's got it inside the 10. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. Now that is the two-minute drill at its very best. Get the completion, get a big chunk of yardage, and then get out of bounds to save those timeouts. You cannot do it any better than that. Here we go, first and goal. Throwing Allen. They'll run with Cook. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll try and run it up the middle. And he is into the end zone. The conversion attempt is good. And that'll give him an eight-point lead here in the fourth. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. They'll come up first and ten here. To throw is Allen. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. And that absolutely cannot happen. Just a gain of a yard in this situation, you've got to get chunks of yardage. Otherwise, the defense, very happy with what you're doing. Now Allen. Flush to his right. That's caught by Diggs. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 38-yard line. Allen. That's taken in by Sherfield. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's first and 10. Here's Allen. That's caught by Davis. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Here comes second down. Allen. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills have just about sewn up this football game. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. And they will take a knee here. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, things started off exciting. This one had a high-scoring first half, and nobody let their foot off the gas in the second half either, Charles. And, you know, for them, a really nice victory in a high-scoring output. You're right about that because so many times we'll see teams come out slow and take a while to get going. 
and points become a little bit harder to score near the end of games, as we know, because everyone tightens down. But no such issues in this game. The scoring started right away and held up at a steady clip the remainder of the game. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.